What up, Pink Lady T-Birds? Just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink. And I'm going to start right off with a prediction. The Romans start working with the Russians because Uncle Daddy wouldn't pay Desna? Damn, man, he love her. I'm in Miami, bitch. Um, so anyway, we got lots and lots and lots and lots to get through. Um, let's go ahead and do the nails. The claws goes as follows while I'm getting my notes together because I'm going to have to kind of go kind of fast because I don't trust these motherfuckers in here. You dig me? And this will be an episode to learn about not trusting motherfuckers, would it not? Oh, quiet in. I'm going to go on order, but oh, quiet and slayed me, y'all. Okay, so, first I want to talk about the flashback of when Roller met Desna and these leopard ass pants and this do-rag. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And I thought that, I had a conversation about that because I remember I was like, damn, Roller is fine. And I think we were supposed to not think he was fine at first because he was trying like way too hard. We see it used to be much, much worse, so Desna must have at least tried to give him a little bit of taste of style. But that was funny. Polly telling Dr. Ken that he too thirsty. <sighs> he is so thirsty though. But um <laughs> Polly, you the real MVP this episode. I'ma get to why Polly is the real MVP this episode though. Um so we see when Polly went to jail. Um, and how Polly going to jail is kind of. We're seeing a chain reaction to how, really, as much as we don't want to say it, and as much as we are anti roller right now, we're well, y'all anti roller. I got issues. Because I'm fucking rooting for roller at this point. I, I'm rooting for roller and Desna. I got issues. I'm the bitch that says I want my husband when I get one. To get a tattoo of the Joker and I want a tattoo of Harley Quinn. So I'm fucked up in the head. But I'm rooting for Roller and Desna. Um, but it looks like, yeah, she was having some problems. Some financial problems with where she lived at. Um, love make people do crazy things. And it looks like this was a lot of, she got into the money to make sure Polly was protected in jail. And also to like, get Dean into a nicer house. So she went in business with Roller. I think Roller really legitimately was looking out for her because we see Roller was at her hard. He, she wasn't thinking about no damn Roller. Roller was at her. Roller pursued her. Um, so when I say that Roller said, you know, if you need some of this money, you know, you can wash these pills. He seemed like he was already on a roll and he really didn't need her to do it. He put her on looking out for her. And of course, she got into it for love for her brother and love for Polly. We're going to get back to that. It's going to be a lot of cuts. Because I don't trust these motherfuckers. Bear with me. All right, we back in. So, um, why well, I'm going to say Polly is the real MVP. I'm going to try to go through these notes. Because, like I said, I don't trust these motherfuckers. Um, Roller was jealous. Because she got on and said, well, they going to know that something ain't right. Nigga, which I want to talk about. She say, "Yo, black ass, Tarola." I listen. Y'all have to understand. <laughs> As somebody as GM put it, has had the United Nations of penises. That tickled me because I have dated white guys. I've said, "Yo, black ass." I have called them nigga because I call everybody nigga. I'm working on it, <laughs> but I call everybody nigga. I do. Um, so that was funny to me, but okay, going back to this. So, Anne is playing with Detective Arlene, and they getting it in, because Quiet Anne is just fucking smitten. She is in love, and they about to get it in, and she like, all right, yeah, what's up? We about to go get some toys and get in the shower, and she dropped the butt plug. Yes, the glass thing was a butt plug, if y'all didn't know. Um, she grabbed the butt plug. And she sees Desna's foul and she like, oh shit, this chick done built a case on Desna 
for setting up the Kuntas for the murder. Y'all, I do have a problem with that because I'm like, okay, and why though? Why would y'all think that though? The Kuntas got murdered. They thought it was drug dealers. Okay, outside of the fact that they found Roller stuff and Roller was alive, why wouldn't the first person you would look for would be Roller? Who miraculously came back from the dead. And because you found a broken nail, but this man was a fucking whore. We talked about that last time. I'm going to let that go. Um, hold that thought. Okay, sorry. So, let's talk about Bryce. If Polly was the MVP this episode, Bryce is the LVP, the least valuable player, because Bryce is fucking up. So Bryce goes to Uncle Daddy and is like, this is about family. He goes into his abundance coach shit, and Uncle Daddy is like, motherfucker, speak layman's term to me. And he like, we got to go after the Russians. They tried to attack us personally. I ain't on that shit. So Uncle Daddy is like, let me call. Now I'm about to start jumping around my notes. Let me call. Up to George, let me see. We get this hippie motherfucker, and I'm like, who the fuck is this hippie? The motherfucker hippie is like a boss. Oh, fuck you, eBay. Um, and Bryce accidentally kills the motherfucker. Bryce is getting a little bit too big for his britches. You need to calm the fuck down. Um, this dumbass bank teller. Listen. Desmond was trying to get out this shit every which way but loose. Do you hear me? And my girl said, I go to Holy, what is she, Holy Lutheran, wait, Holy Episcopal Lutheran Protestant or parish or whatever. And the girl literally said, H E L P? She like, yeah, H E L P. Oh, I ain't never heard of that. I'm like, you dumb bitch. Desna was doing some smart shit all the way around, flattening the tires instead of trying to attack Roller was smart. Um, the cop, can we talk about the cop? I'm jumping again. Bitch is tied up to a steering wheel saying I'm being held hostage. Dude just like, okay, well tell your uncle I said hi. Goes on about his business. Fucking crooked ass, cracker ass crop, cop. I got that from somewhere. I'm not really calling the white man a cracker. I got that crooked ass, cracker ass cop from something. If y'all know, comment below and let me know because I have heard it, but I don't remember where I got it from. Um, that lady fucked Roller up, y'all. The crazy lady. Wait, can I talk about when he was imitating her in the car? First of all, shout outs to Roller. Because this motherfucker had imitated that woman and Uncle Daddy. And I know I wasn't supposed to laugh because he had a gun in Desmond's face. But when she was like talking about the opera singing bitch and was like tea and crumpets and was doing it in a British accent. Bitch, I was laid out. I was, bitch, I was laid out. Um, I'm like... Yeah, that lady fucked her up and he was having flashbacks on him being thing and he started barking at Desna and howling. I'm like, oh, this this nigga done lost it. He done lost it. He had a right to have lost it, but he lost it. Um, we finally get the story behind Uncle Daddy, so obviously, here's where my confusion is at. And y'all comment below and y'all figure it out for me. Um, we see in flashback. We had a lot of Desna Roller flashback and I was looking for it. But we see Roller kind of explaining, you know, what happened and how Uncle Daddy is his daddy. Obviously not biological uncle, but, you know, they was his dad obviously was in the Dixie Mafia too. But he just was like, they killed my whole family and Uncle Daddy scooped me up. Bryce also mentioned, like, that's how you feel when you killed the people that killed my daddy. Neither one of them is saying me and my brother. Which I understand they beefing right now. But if both of y'all is talking about how somebody killed... The Bryce, the Bryce one I kind of get. A little bit. 
No, I don't. Because if you're trying to take revenge for them shooting Roller, you're going to say, like, you took revenge on who killed our father. Because you're already talking about Roller. He's already in the conversation. And then when Roller was talking about his whole family got killed and Uncle Daddy just snatched him up, are Bryce and Roller not biological brothers? Y'all comment below and let me know how y'all feel about that too. Because I'm like, wait. Are y'all not biological brothers? Something got to come out about that. Um, and why do I feel like Uncle Daddy has something to do with that too? And it wasn't no, oh, um, it ain't no just as simple as, I feel like it's some um, Sons of Anarchy type shit. We're like, oh yeah, I took on and raised him as raised him as my own, but really he the one that has something to do with him getting killed. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Um, hold that thought. All right, so something else. Um, let's talk about Quiet Ann and how Quiet Ann ripped my damn heart out this episode. This is the most we've seen Quiet Ann talk. This is the most emotional the Quiet Ann has been. And she comes in. She comes in to work. She's like, Polly, I got to talk to you now. She tells Polly we were talking about this vibe. She found the nail and they about to charge Dez. And Polly started going off to them wild stories when Dodie uh, left me for, for uh, Princess Die. And Quiet Ann has had it officially. She's like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, this ain't one of your playtime stories, bitch. This is my life. Like, I love her. We was talking about having a kid. We was, like, really building the future. Do you know how hard it is for me? And then we found out a little bit more about Quiet Ann. She know what's happened with my parents. I told y'all. I feel, feel like they found out she was gay and cut her off. And I think Quiet Ann is for money. I told y'all that. But she talks about going to prison, what she had to do. She don't judge me. So we found out a little bit more about Quiet Ann. Maybe that's why the father don't talk. To, that's why maybe that's why the brother don't talk to her either. Maybe the whole family cut her off. Um, but or maybe she was embarrassment for whatever reason why she had to go to prison. Maybe she from an upper crust family and that was an embarrassment. She went to prison, but some kind of way I felt like them parents had cut Quiet Ann off. I mentioned that in another review. Um, but she like I love her and Polly get real too, and she like this is Desna we talking about. Like, they talking about somebody stabbed Quiet Ann, all kind of shit that she did. At that point, Quiet Ann has to now make a decision. I feel like she made at least a better decision because they was like, you know what we got to do. I thought they was going to send Quiet Ann to take her out. I said that last episode. But she just like, she was suspended before for DUI. So Polly goes to Dr. Ken and gets some pills, has to flirt with him. Polly which I do believe this, that Polly is scared to fall in love because I don't think Polly know who the fuck Polly is. Um, or she's embarrassed about who she is and don't want nobody. You know, she has this close, these close-knit people, they family, it's nail artisans before to let a man in for who she really is. Um, but anyway, Dr. Ken gives her the pills. Quiet Ann fucking drops them in the coffee. Arlene is fucking swerving all over the place she's probably gonna get kicked off the force or lose her job but at least she's still alive and maybe her and Quiet Ann can have a relationship for a while till next season that come out to Quiet Ann is the one that drugged her anywho uh, plus she a cop she might already know like well how the fuck did I even get like this I know who I was with that might come out next episode it might come out next season we'll find out um Anne is in a dilemma. We talked about the hippie and the guy from the Dixie Mafia. Um, that shit was funny. Um, Bryce. Bryce just catching bodies. Bryce just got bodies underneath his belt now. And you killed the boss. Like, anybody else? Anybody else get good fellas? Hans? Bueller? Anybody else get good fellas? Like, oh lord, you know what happened to Tommy when he did that shit, right? When he killed the fucking boss. You gotta go. They gonna find out. You gotta go. So now it's about to be an all-out war between the Russians, the Hustlers, and the Hustlers about to be on their own because they about to be Dixie Mafia because the Dixie Mafia about to be after them when they don't find the hippie dude that's a boss that was going to the candle convention. <laughs> it 
anyway, um, so once it's a change of plans, Broder realizes the Russians is going to take him out. I still do not understand why Desna finally admitted to him, like, yeah, I told on you, dude. Um... <sighs> Polly is the real MVP because Polly did that Sally Field at the Oscars quote 100% accurate and correct good job writers because everybody thinks it's you like me you really really like me that, that you like me right now you like me is exactly what Sally Field said that is often misquoted and when Polly was like no Sally Field didn't say that Sally Field said what I just said I was like bitch Give it up. Give it up. Because I was here for that. I was like, she right too. She right. She right. I was loving that. Um, so they set Arlene up, like I said. Like I said, Polly the MVP because Polly got everybody together. Polly was giving me motherfucking Benedict Cumberbatch, Johnny Lee Miller, Sherlock, this whole episode. Because she kept telling him, no, tell me exactly what she said. Tell me exactly what she said. And she was thinking it. She like, cop. Desmond don't say cop. And she kept thinking it. But this was the smart part. When Desna said, listen, you gonna kill me. I know you, fuck me. I know you do care about my brother though. You know how my, bro how my brother is. You know you're gonna be fucked up. At least let me say goodbye to him. And I don't know if she was gonna try to pull something or she really, really just wanted to say goodbye to Dean. But when he started talking about how much he wanted to marry Virginia and she was like, you have my blessing. And was like, go get this money out of it. The wheels started turning. Like, if I tell him she can go, he can go do it. He gonna get on it right now. And that's when Polly knew. Say what now? Desna is cool. What you marry in Virginia? That hoe over there, which is what thought me. Nah, bro. Something ain't right. And then she goes and Ambrosia salad. Let me find out the flashback about Ambrosia salad. So good. So good. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. First, this episode was moving very slow for me, but we got a lot of information. I'm kind of glad it went slow because we got a lot more information this episode. Um, oh, I want to talk about him too. Cause Dean got a way of having me in tears. Cause I was crying on that part when she was saying goodbye to her brother, and I was crying on that part. But I was laughing at the same time because he was like. You know, when you have sex with somebody and you love them, and I love her, but also I love sex. And I know you think that she's a skank hoe, but she's not a skank hoe. I was just like, I love it. He said something about her possibly being on the autistic spectrum. I'm going to have to try to recatch that. I don't know if I can or not. Um, exactly what she said. I was just laughing when they was doing the flashbacks of the money laundering. How, um... Roller's outfits though be cracking me the fuck up. Even the pants he had on the day. It's so fucking crazy. And I think that might be why. And I don't know why this is. And this is probably not a good thing. And this is probably should be having some some light bulbs going off in my head. But roller kind of remind me of my dude, y'all. I'm not I'm not fucking joking. Like he kind of do. Like, not so much now, but like when he was probably like Roller's age, because I can just assume that Roller is not 40. Roller is probably like 32. I could be wrong, but I feel like Roller is younger. Um, but yeah, it's some similarities there, man. And I'm just like, that probably ain't a good thing. Not all that psycho barking in my ear holding me hostage shit, but it's some similarities there, man. And it don't help that he is fucking pale as the fucking moonlight. But anyway, um, Roller's outfits was cracking me up. And the reason why I said that, I got to tell y'all this story real quick and then I got to do another pause. It's because he had on this wife beater with these ugly ass pants. And I just was like, why does this look so familiar? And I'm just like. It was some pants that was kind of like that, but they was like green. And I just was like, them is the ugliest fucking pants i ever seen. And he thought they was so fly. And I think I heard his feelings and he never wore the pants again. <laughs> but we gonna get back and finish this up. Give me a second. Okay, so we coming to the end. So to go back to how I opened this review, 
So we see, like, Desna trying to plead with Roller. Like, you gotta understand, I snap. I got so tired of you treating me like shit. And he like, I fought for you. She like, bullshit. He like, no, I fought for you. And I'm thinking he just talking shit. Because we seen him, like, go to Uncle Daddy and say something. But then we seen the flashback of what really happened. And that's when I was like, holy shit, A, he really do love her. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't give a fuck if she got paid or not. Um, B, and I mentioned this before, he kept saying, don't worry about it, I got you. Don't worry about it, I got you. You're going to get your money. Let me handle shit, I got this. That motherfucker really loved him because I will bet you a dollar to motherfucking donuts that that was the moment he went to the fucking Russians. And was like, you ain't going to give my girl or dude. That's the whole reason why we making this kind of money, blah, 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 etc. And you going to play my girl like that? Like, not only do I feel like you disrespecting her, you disrespecting me because I promised it to her. And I think that's the moment she he went with the Russians. And, um... Yeah, I think that's how that's going to turn out. So, um... With that being said, I ain't no roller had that gun work like that, though. I was like, that's when I was like, okay, now, at that point, when he did all that, and then they was running, and he was going to shoot her right in the head, and she was like, you can't do it, because I love you, and you love me, too. And then he was like, she was like, watch out, because somebody trying to kill me, and somebody was about to get him. I'm not warning you. She knew he wasn't going to be able to hurt her, because... Once we saw that flashback, and I'm assuming every time we saw a flashback, maybe they was actually talking, or maybe they wasn't. But she realized that he really did fight for her, and maybe it started turning in her head, like, holy shit. Because he wouldn't say, why did you, why is you even in it with the Russians, why is you even doing this? He like, I don't have money because of a mixtape, that shit was funny. Um, but anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Let me know what y'all thought. I cannot wait. Also, I want y'all to go check out um, my sister station. I didn't even tell her it was my sister station. But it's my sister station because that's my sister, Talisa Ray. Over there, I'm sure hers will probably drop after mine. So y'all make sure y'all go check her out because we have conflicting views all the time. And it's fucking dope to hear both sides. So I want to thank all y'all for rocking with me. Go ahead and do that. Thank you to my patrons. Also to my patrons, August is patron month. I gave y'all a message on Patreon. Only Andrew Blossom. Hi, Andrew. My very first patron has responded, so I will be reviewing Jackie Brown for you, Andrew. The rest of my patrons, or if you would like to sign up and be a patron at any price point, you get to review, you get to request any movie or any music video reviewed, and I'm going to review it this month. So get into that. I want to thank all of y'all for rocking with me. Oh, patrons. Okay, so if you are not a patron, you can go ahead and click that P. If you are not a Pink Lady or a T-Bird, feel free to subscribe by clicking on Sailor Jimmy over there. Also, make sure you hit that notification so you know when that videos are up and ready. And watch some other videos. As always, I love y'all.